Hi, Ovesen.net. Uh, welcome the, to this uh, part uh, three of uh, me using the Commodore 64 user port uh, to communicate with uh, other electronics and devices. Now in this episode I want to go a bit further and um, instead of just outputting data from the Commodore I want to input uh, data to the Commodore. But before that I want to show you uh, just another example. In Instead of using eight uh, LEDs I am using a seven uh, segment uh, number display which, which is actually seven LEDs. And I made a little basic program to uh, control uh, the output of the chip by entering the number of the computer. It switches to the same uh, number on the seven segment display. No, a seven segment display like this have a, a common uh, ground pin, so you only need one resistor. Uh, but I still need uh, this, uh, in this case, seven uh, transistors. The eight one is not in use. Um, but of course you can uh, get integrated circuits to control these kinds of uh, uh, segment displays instead of using a lot of transistors. All right, enough with the basic uh, electronic circuit. Uh, this is an Arduino Uno and uh, it's a very popular device uh, now these days. Um, it's a quite a simple device. It contains a microcontroller uh, that you can program. It has both uh, digital and uh, analog uh, input and output pins. And, uh, it takes 5 volt in, either USB or uh, just this regular 5 volt input uh, plug here, and it has a reset button. Uh, now I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how this device works. Uh, there are tons of uh, videos and uh, documentation on this, and uh, uh, I'm just gonna explain uh, some of the things I'm doing. So uh, let's get started. Now for my first attempt to send some data from the Arduino to the Commodore, I found this uh, temperature sensor, uh, which is from an old uh, thermostat actually. So um, a temperature sensor is just a, a resistor that varies with the temperature. So this has a fairly high resistance and if the temperature goes down, uh, then the resistance goes down. So in order to measure the uh, resistance, we have to have a circuit and the Arduino has uh, already plus five volts uh, and uh, ground pins. So we can use that to power the circuit and um, then we have the resistor uh, which is the temperature sensor then the arduino has uh, analog input lines uh, and this works by measuring the voltage across uh, uh, ground and the pin that you are connecting uh, so you have to be between five and zero volts on the analog input. I measured the resistance to be about uh, 11 kilo ohm at uh, around 23 degrees Celsius. Uh, so in order to measure the voltage uh, uh, across a resistor like this, we need to have another resistor with about the same uh, value. So I just put a 10k ohm resistor here. So now the 5 volt uh, voltage will be divided between those two resistors. And since this one is constant, uh, always 10k, then the voltage across uh, this resistor, which is the temperature sensor, will be 
uh, around half of two and a, uh, around 2.5 volts, which is half of five volts. So that's an easy circuit to build on the breadboard. Uh, just connect the ground wire, and then I have the 10K resistor uh, connected to ground. And then I have a plus five volt connection. And then I just connect the temperature sensor uh, between 5 volt and uh, the resistor. And then we connect the 5 volt to the 5 volt output uh, of the Arduino, which is this pin here, and the ground of course to the ground pins there are two okay so where do we connect the analog input pin we want to measure the voltage across this resistor so it's between plus 5 volt and uh, between the two resistors so that means we gonna put it uh, right here at the same point as the leg of this resistor. Now let me connect the Arduino to my computer and then we can start uh, programming it. All right, this is the Arduino development uh, tool and uh, I'm not going into detail how to install and configure uh, this one, but uh, just make sure that it's configured with an uh, Arduino Uno uh, and also that you have connected to the correct uh, COM port. An Arduino program is called Sketch and uh, it's uh, actually programmed in C, but uh, it's a, a simplified uh, programming model than uh, a regular C program on a computer. Uh, so each sketch or program uh, consists of a setup function and a loop function. And when, the, when you upload the program to the Arduino, and start it then the setup is called once and then the loop function is called uh, in a loop indefinitely so i want to write a small program that uh, reads from the analog port and prints out the value from that uh, port and uh, to do that, you can use uh, something called Serial Monitor, uh, which is just an output window that you can print uh, text and values to. Uh, so this program starts by uh, setting up the serial port to uh, 9600 board. This line here is not in use, so I can delete it, but uh, then I just start by printing out some text and then the program goes into the loop in which I uh, read from the sensor pin which is uh, A0. Here's the variable that holds the name of the sensor pin. And the value you get from an analog read is a value from 0 to, 20, 20, to 10, 23. And then I just uh, print that value and then delays for one second. So let me upload the program and start it by pressing the arrow key uh, button uh, up here. Then I switch to the uh, to the serial monitor and as you can see there are coming values and if you remember uh, the input on an analog uh, port is uh, from 5 to 0 volts 
So this number represents uh, the voltage on that uh, port. So this means that we can convert the input signal uh, that is a number from 0 to 1023 into uh, volts. And I just add these uh, lines here, which uh, calculates uh, the voltage based on uh, the current value and prints it out. So uh, then we can um, upload the sketch again and uh, uh, see the result in the serial monitor. So as you can see, uh, about this temperature, temperature here is about 23, 24 degrees Celsius. It's a value of 447 and 2.18 volts. Now, if I take the sensor and hold it in my hand to warm it up, then the resistance should uh, uh, decrease and uh, we should see that the values uh, are changing. Yeah, and we already see that the value is increasing and the voltage is uh, also increasing. That means that the resistance is uh, lower and if I let go of the sensor then it should uh, start to drop again yeah here we can see it starting to drop uh, steadily so how do we calculate the temperature then? Uh, well, I already sketched the calculation here. I already measured that the resistance at zero degrees was around 33K, which means uh, the voltage is 1.16 volts. And at 24 degrees, degrees it's uh, around 11K. So then the voltage is 2.2 volts. So uh, the factor uh, which is uh, voltage per degree is calculated by this calculation here and we get the result of that uh, is 0 0.043 volts per degree. Then we can calculate the temperature which is uh, the input voltage minus the zero point which is uh, 1.16 volts and then divided by the factor so I created this function here then uh, I added the actual calculation and then return this calculate temp function returns uh, the temperature and uh, appear on added the statements to print the temperature. So let's upload the sketch and see what it looks like. All right, so now it actually outputs uh, the current temperature. And if I hold the sensor in my hand, the temperature increases as expected. No, this isn't by any means uh, accurate, so uh, it's just for demonstration and having fun. And now I want to send this uh, temperature to the Commodore 64 via the user port. And uh, since the user port is 8-bit, uh, you can only send integers between 0 and 255. However, the temperature can be uh, minus uh, degrees uh, negative number so we have to convert it to a valid integer between 0 and 255 and uh, I don't know the range of the temperature sensor but uh, I'm guessing minus 50 to plus 50 is uh, enough so I was thinking just convert it the float value to uh, to byte and then uh, add 50 to the number and then we have a, 
a representation of 50 minus 50 degrees is zero zero degrees is 50 and plus 50 is 100 and if we take a look at the program i already calculated this uh, as this uh, integer byte num which i'm printing uh, last year and let's take a look at the the output and uh, this is the actual uh, value we want to send to the Commodore. Now in order to send this data to the Commodore we have to use the Arduino's uh, digital uh, port and it has uh, several of those so uh, to be able to send something out digitally we have to configure uh, the pin and the mode so I'm gonna use uh, pin 7 through 13 and they all gonna be um, uh, output pins So we have one byte, but we need to send the individual bits in that byte to the different pins uh, on the digital port. And um, this statement here, digital write, and then the pin number, uh, sets that pin to high and or low. And uh, the values is zero or one. Uh, this statement here takes the first bit of the byte uh, and this uh, next statement here takes the second bit of the byte etc. So in this way we can um, send each individual bit to the pins. And I also printed here just to, to see if I get the correct uh, values. and. Uh, here you see that uh, the byte number is represented by the by this binary number uh, at the end of each line. Okay, the Arduino is programmed and um, we have tested that the program is uh, working correctly. So now we can take it and connect it to uh, the Commodore and see if we can transport uh, the temperature value over to the Commodore via the user port. Now at the Commodore I'm gonna connect uh, the Arduino to my user port cable and uh, sorry it's a bit of a mess with wires but uh, hey <laughs> uh, first thing I you have to connect is the ground and you have to connect the ground from the Commodore to the ground of the Arduino and there is a ground pin on this side as well then I am connecting the seven least significant uh, lines of the user port parallel uh, communication lines to pin 7 through 13 on the Arduino. So pin 0 from the Commodore to pin 7 on the Arduino and pin 1 on the Commodore to pin 8 on the Arduino and so forth. Uh, the seventh line or a bit eight in this case I connected to ground because I want it to be always uh, low or uh, off. Then I power up the Arduino and it should start executing the last uh, program uh, I uploaded. All right, the Arduino is connected to the Commodore and um, I already uh, made a small uh, basic program to uh, communicate uh, uh, with the Arduino. And the first line is the poke command on the address 56579 to turn all the 
eight uh, parallel uh, lines to input, that means we're going to read the data from the Arduino to the Commodore 64. Uh, and uh, by turning all the eight bits uh, on that address to zero, we indicate all lines are uh, input. And then line 20, I print out uh, the value of the uh, address 56577, which is the data that comes in to the user port from the Arduino. Uh, line 30 is just uh, looping for uh, one, one second and then uh, just go back to line 20 and it runs uh, in an uh, indefinite loop. And as you can see, the value are now coming in from the Arduino and its the value is 73, which uh, is not the actual temperature but rather the byte value that is sent uh, from the Arduino. So in order to show the temperature, uh, we have to convert. And if you remember, I added 50 to the actual temperature, uh, like a sort of a protocol for the communication. So I am. Um, I am now uh, changing my program and uh, subtract 50 from the value uh, read in from the Arduino. And if we run the program now, you'll see that it uh, converts to the actual tem temperature value, uh, which is a bit high at the moment because the sensor is uh, uh, lying on the computer. I got myself a drink and it's just uh, pure water with uh, ice and that uh, means it's around zero degrees so let's test uh, my sensor and see if it reads correctly. And as you can see the temperature is decreasing, it's uh, four degrees, three degrees, uh, however my program has a bug, it didn't uh, remove the last uh, digit uh, when it passed uh, 10 degrees so uh, it's actually sh uh, showing 1 degree when it uh, puts out 10 on the screen. Yeah now it actually shows minus 1 degree Celsius which, which is pretty accurate I guess for uh, ice water which is normal between um, minus four and zero degrees. All right, I got myself a sensor to measure the temperature of my drink and with that I uh, end this third part. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and learned something and uh, hopefully I see you in the next part uh, which uh, will be our, about uh, uh, LCD displays and things like that. So thanks for watching and bye-bye. Uh,